I am Vladislav Moravsky from uh, Comenius University. Welcome to your lab in the ion mobility spectrometry and mass spectrometry. Uh, it's a little bit noise here because the perms are uh, turned on because we need some vacuum to working with this equipment. So I'm so sorry for that, but uh, I will show you how these equipments are works. So firstly, the ion mobility spectrometer, which I'm holding in my arm, it's a very small uh, tool and equipment, and it's uh, very easy uh, to measure with them. The spectrometer consists of an ion source. It's in the top. It is continued to the reactive chamber, the drift tube, and at the end, there is a detector. The samples, are, at the beginning, the samples are going through uh, to the reactive chamber and uh, ionized by corona discharge and after when we creating a new type of ions they are traveling uh, uh, across the reactive chamber and captured by the detector in the end and from the wire from the end we could collect it the, the spectrum which is uh, showing in our monitor. So the yellow wire is needed for heating because we want to have uh, reactive ions uh, without any water clusters. So sometimes we heated the spectrometer more than 100 degrees. So the second type uh, of our spectrometers is the mass spectrometer connected to the ion mobility spectrometer. And we should separately measure the mobility and a mass weight of the ions. So it's possible to create 2D maps and uh, we will know uh, which peaks of the ion mobility spectra is corresponding to the peaks in the mass spectra. These equipments are very useful, very sensitive. We should detect it uh, below 1 ppb. These equipments are very, uh, have very fast response uh, we need uh, only two or three seconds to show the new ions in the spectra. Uh, these spectrometers are using uh, sometimes in the airports. Uh, if the policemen are captured somebody, they're collecting some samples from uh, his shirt or his bag, put it to the entrance of the uh, ion mobility spectrometer and uh, after a few seconds, they know if that person are working with some explosive drugs or some chemicals. So if you want to know more about that, please visit our website. Thank you.